Today on Ricky Lake. It's gonna be mine. No better time than the present. Hungry for love? Is it the way he flips those burgers? Hot crushes on food servers. She does sex and she everything. He's just the greatest guy. We're dishing up dream dates. That's the best response I've ever seen. We can't wait to fill their plates. Are you ready to see who has a secret crush and brought you all this way? Do you have any idea who this person might be? I have no idea. Plus a surprise visit from Joan London. Our plates are full today because I'm taking orders from my guests. Why? Because they are hungry for love. They have secret crushes on waiters, waitresses, cooks, and bartenders. And they are ready to confess their love for a food service worker. Now, I'm backstage in our mini Motown cafe, ready to serve up some heaping spoonfuls of lovin'. Hi, sir. What's your name? I'm Chris. Chris. How's it going? Uh, you know, just fine. Well, you know what, Chris? Today is your lucky day because someone has a crush on you and you will meet that person later in the show. Yes, you will, so hang tight. That and many other crushes will be revealed today because my guests say, Ricky, take my order. I've got a crush on a food service worker. Crushes today. Today our guests are revealing secret crushes on food service workers. Hey, hey, Mr. Hot Dog Man, take Jeff out of isolation. Welcome Jeff, everyone. Jeff, I have to say, there's somebody else here who also has a crush on you. Come on out here. I know that, uh-huh. <laughs> Hi, y'all. We're hi, really hi. glad you're here to help us out today, okay? So you think you got him, huh? <laughs> oh, he's mine. He's yours. Mine. He's mine. Uh, hey, okay. if you saw the kiss from out here, you'd know that yeah, he belongs to her now. Yeah, but I got something fun. Oh! <laughs> Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. You're going to be in yeah. charge of our blimpy counter today, and you're going to oh, serve food. up some sandwiches? <laughs> okay. Shirley, and also, pay close attention to our stories, because we're also... No, no, forget yeah, about the food yeah, for yeah. just a minute. Because yeah. <laughs> we're going to ask your opinion on these couples as we go, okay? All right, all right. Please welcome Raquel, hot dog man. In the pink corner, hailing from Hastings, New York, Ricky Lake! My guests say that it's the biggest fight of the century. They've been threatening each other for years, and today, right here on this set, they're going to settle it once and for all. They are fighting family members, and they are here to say, I'm fed up with this family feud. Today, we face off in a fight to the finish.
someone. The relationship is great, but... Oh, wait a second. That's my beeper. My beeper just went off. Wait a minute. Oh, look at this. It's my husband, Rob. He knows not to beat me in the middle of the show. Well, at least it was my husband. Jody here is obsessed with, so upset that her boyfriend is getting beat by another woman. Mm -hmm. She and other women are on the show to say, I want to confront the bitch who's beating my man. Don't you just hate it when someone is talking about you behind your back? You know what happens. They tell two people, then they tell two people, and, and so on, and, and so, so on. My guests today are here to tell someone in their lives, if you've got something to say, say it to my face. but they're also full of hope. They are so determined to win back the loves of their lives that they are ready to put their looks in the line. With the help of hair, makeup, and fashion experts, they are ready to undergo major makeovers in a last-ditch effort to capture their ex's attention. Today, these desperately daring romantics say, Ricky, make me look fine so I can win back that ex's money. women think they could spot a cheating man a hundred miles away. Ladies, take a good look at the men standing here on our stage. Can you guess who cheated? Well, if you go by what their wives and girlfriends say, they all did. And now they're here to say he dogged me out and I can't forgive him. On Ricky Lake. What is she doing? Is she showing off a new dance? No way. She's showing up her ex-boyfriend. She thinks that I'm fooling around with her roommate, but it's not like that. She doesn't want him back. I don't want him at all. But if you're not with him anymore, why should you care? And she won't let anyone else have him. It makes me mad because she's disrespecting me. It's not like that. So you think she should have respected you and not have gone out with him? Yes. Don't miss the next Ricky Lake. You meet a great guy and you take a gamble. But then you break up. You don't want him, so your girlfriend tries a spin and goes out with him. What's next? Everybody's luck has run out when my guests today say, I don't want him, but you can't have him either.
kicked her son out of her house because he did not obey her rules. Because today, we will speak to teenagers who say, back off, your rules are driving me out of the house. People will be one of the happiest times in their lives. But for my guest today, it was the beginning of a nightmare. A nine-month nightmare that they would try to hide from everyone, even their own mothers. Today, my guests are here to say, Mom, I'm sorry I hid my pregnancy, but now that the baby is here, let's deal with it. On Ricky Lake, there's nothing better than a double date. They're twice as nice. The hottest twins you'll ever meet. With twice as spice. Be still my heart. They're worth a double take. We're checking out all the guys on Ricky Lake. It's double your pleasure. Oh, what a workout. <laughs> <laughs> on the next Ricky Lake. Everybody, I'm on the roof of my studio with the Empire State Building behind me. Today, however, you will be seeing twin towers, like these gorgeous guys and beautiful babes. Don't adjust your TV sets because you are seeing double. That is because today, magnificent multiples are competing for a coveted title. It's double your pleasure, double your fun. Today, you're getting two shows in one. My guests have literally flown in from all across the United States to take part in Ricky's 1996 Search for the hottest twins in America! on Ricky Lake. Bring on the men! Men, 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 do you love a man in a uniform? What is so special about a blue-collar man? Blue-collar men are the hottest. The men at work work you up? Boy, oh boy, it's hot in here! The more tools you get to use, the better. So I'm sure I'll make you feel good. Woo, baby, you are so fine. They're in love with blue-collar men. Which one do you like? I want all of them, all of them! Next to Lake. here in New York and I'm waiting for a delivery, a very, very important delivery, a delivery of some of the best American-made goods that this country has to offer. I'm talking about men, 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 blue-collar men. Oh, and here they are. We have looked high and low and have handpicked some of America's hottest babes. So stay right where you are because get ready to pick your favorite blue-collar men. It's our all-American red, white, and blue-collar man contest. Hey, guys, wait for me. Your chance to win a trip to the Ricky Lake Show in the autumn.
in the last year, about 30. No need for sympathy here. So you're here today to meet some jocks. It's payback time. Roses are red, violets are blue. I have something very special for you. They were kicked to the curb. Does your ex have any idea that you're doing this? Now we'll hook them up. You need this kind of dating game on the next Lake. Hey, On today's show, we will hook them up with sexy male strippers, hot handsome hunks, and bodybuilding babes. And that's just for the women. If you go away, you are crazy. dumped. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Me too. It is time for our first game. It's the I Want a Man with Major Muscles dating game. Let's meet our first dumpy, Lydia. I'm here to defend himself so we don't really know what went on. Only the two of you know, Twana. And you have to live with it. Yeah. Alright, next. A man who wants to say he's sorry for shooting his friend in the foot. Just one of the many stories you'll hear today when my guests surprise their friends and say, I only did it to get even, and now I'm sorry. their biggest hits so sit back and pump up the volume because my guests are here to say Ricky rock my world surprise me with my all-time favorite music star <laughs> treat because they are about to be surprised and serenaded by their all-time favorite recording artist. Today on Ricky Lake, it's a new year, so here's something new. Two topics in one hour. First up is Lou's that loser. He is no good. She's mean. When someone hates the one you love. Later, it's a surprise. I have something good to tell you. Now you're a ready to do it on national TV. From prizes to proposals, it's two, two, two shows in one. So are you ready to get to the news? Our first ever doubleheader. Next week. If I told you that you could have two cars for the price of one, would you take me up on my offer? Or what if I told you we could double your pleasure and double the fun? Would it be up? Would you be up for it? Well, then you don't want to miss today's very special show. For the first time ever, we are doing a Ricky Lick double header. Two different topics in the same show. How about that? In the first half hour, you'll meet these people who say their family members need to lose the losers they are dating. And things will surely get heated as they say, enough already. Lose that loser. And later in the hour, we'll get pretty emotional because these people are going to be surprised with some extremely good news. Two of them will even find out they have won $10,000 right here on the show. They are about to hear surprise. I have something good to tell you. So stay tuned for our very special Ricky Lake doubleheader.
do if your brother's wife cheated on him and left him on their anniversary to spend the evening with someone else? That's the case of our first guest, Jay. He and his fiance, Jennifer, hate Jay's brother's wife, Christina. Today on Ricky Lake. Look. Miss Cubs at call. Hello. Separated for years. Actually, I got a picture of him. You did get a picture. Yeah. He still looks good to you? Yeah. Reunited for the first love. So hopefully today will be the day that you're not only getting back together, but you'll be engaged. I propose to you on the same day. Reunited. Fully accept. So the feelings might be mutual here. For mystery and romance, <laughs> this show takes the cake. Find out more. When I think back to high school, I often remember my first love, Joe. He was smart, caring, athletic, and hot. Gee, I wonder what would happen if I saw Joe today. Would I still be attracted to him? Well, not only do my guests on today's show want to be reunited with their first loves, they are still in love with them. But wait, it gets even better. Yes, it does. My guests are here to say, if you reunite me with my first love, I'll ask him or her to marry me. to marry our first loves after years of not seeing or hearing from them. Any of you? I didn't think so. Well, that's why my first guest, Tom, is here today. Tom says that he has not seen his first love, Leah, in two years, and today he wants... Today on Ricky Lake, why do you go to prostitutes if you have a girlfriend? Men who prefer prostitutes. They both get what we want, and we go home. They think dating's a waste of time and money. A girlfriend's costing me more money than a prostitute would. But working girls are worth it. I'm making a lot of money, you know? But I think it's very degree too. It's hard work. He doesn't need a girlfriend, he'd rather go to a prostitute. I don't have time to have a big relationship. You're not after a long-term relationship, you just want sex. Next, Ricky Lake. In fact, these men say they would rather be with these women than in a relationship. Why? Because these women are prostitutes. Today, my guests say, who needs a girlfriend? I'd rather go to a prostitute. presence, doesn't want to have to call you all the time, doesn't want to be nagged, and definitely does not want to commit. Oh yeah, but he does want sex. Doesn't sound like a relationship too many women would want, right? Not this woman. Well, that's exactly what my guests are saying. They say the kind of relationship they want, they could never have with a regular girlfriend. So they have found the almost perfect relationship replacement. They go to prostitutes. I, yeah, now I have a feeling you want to meet these guys, don't you? Yeah. Guys, come on out here! <laughs> meet Vinny and Doug, everyone, and how about a nice round of applause for them? They're coming to talk about something so personal on television. buy a car without test driving it first. They also say the same rule applies to women. They will not marry the woman of their dreams until they sleep with her first. To today, my guests are here to tell the people in their lives 
I won't wait for the wedding date. I have to sleep with you first. not the exception. Then as time went on, women decided to have sex before marriage, yet there were some women who waited, and back then men respected that. But today it seems that if a woman wants to wait until after she's married to have sex, she just isn't going to get married. Do you guys agree with that? <laughs> well, at least that is what some of my guests are saying today. Be Janice. Janice says she has been in lots of bad relationships and has made the decision that she wants to wait until after she is married to have sex. <laughs> you big hypocrites! But, you didn't let me finish, but, then Janice said the dream of ever getting married faded after being dumped every time she told a guy she didn't want to have sex. Janice, what happened? Every time I ever got into a relationship, because there seems to be a wild protest going on on the streets. It seems that women have picked up these signs and hit the pavement to say that they want to be reunited with their first loves and that nothing, nothing is going to stop them. Hey, can anybody tell me what's going on here? I can, Ricky. What's going on? I came to New York City for my first love and I'm not leaving without him. But I think he's married. But you don't care? I don't care. I want him back. Well, as you can see, these folks mean business. They are here to reclaim the men who have stolen their hearts and say, Surprise, today I'll use all of my charms to get my first love back in my arms. Today we're talking to men and women who want to rekindle the fires of passion with the most important loves of their lives, their first love. First loves are the most difficult to forget and sometimes you just don't ever get over them. That is what's happening to my first guest, meet Carolyn. She wants to hook up with her first love, James. He was her high school sweetheart and her first. We know what that means, don't we? But she's ready to relight their fire. She hasn't seen him in nine years. He is backstage and has no idea who wants to see him today. You want to rekindle that fire, don't you? Yes, I do, Ricky. That is not the look that I was going for. This is all wrong. Ricky, that's exactly what you told me to do. No, it's not, Mary. I distinctly remember what I told you to do, and this is all wrong. But this is how your hair responds to this style. Mary, I said it was wrong. It's wrong. And I said it's right. It's wrong. It's right. Everyone's had a haircut they didn't like, but today my guests have the chance to say... Cancel my appointment when hairdressers and their clients face off. has had a bad hair day, right? Yes. Am I having one today? No. Thank you. But today, some of my guests want to confront someone they say is a bad hairdresser. And we also have hairdressers who would rather wrap their fingers around their client's neck than curl their hair. Meet Janice. Janice says she walked into her hairstylist with a full head of hair, and a few days later, she said it was falling out in clumps. Janice, what happened? <laughs> The good old summertime where the hot sun sizzles and soaking your social. 
social life, when you meet lots of people and maybe even hook up with the right guy or girl. But my guests today regret their foot in the sun because they dumped the ones that they really loved. Today, they're here to say, now that the summer's over and I've had my fun, I want you back. special expert today. He is the co-host of America's number one rated late night radio program, Love Phones. Please welcome Z100's Chris Jagger. <laughs> You get more beautiful every time I see you. Thank you very much. Woo! I do you really think that you can cut hair and switch for the day. He's going to get a hint of what it's like for you. I don't want to brag about it, but I think I did a great job. A special appearance by Phil. As with his own double. What do you think? On the next Ricky Ray. the harder job. Today, couples will trade jobs and find out what it's like to live in their mate's shoes for a day. And how about some of these switches, guys? A pizza maker will trade jobs with his wife who cuts hair. And he, and get this, he will actually give a couple of audience members a haircut they'll never forget. A roller skating waitress will switch jobs with her husband who is an exterminator. Yeah. And we even have a popular singing group who will trade, trade places with their mothers. Thanks you can't wait. Let me introduce the lovely couple, fitness expert Donna Richardson and her fiance Michael. Hi guys. Nice to see you. Now they will be trading jobs on today's show. So Michael, we have a class of aerobic uh, students backstage and you're going to teach them a class during this whole show. Are you ready to do that? Ready, ready. Do you really think you can do it as good as your fiance? Better. better. Wait, what makes you say better? Tell her everything she knows. <laughs> What do you think about that? You know what? If you talk the talk, you gotta walk the walk. All right. Well, gang, on the count of three, let's send Michael off. A one, two, three. We'll see you later, Michael. Donna and Michael are just one of our couples who are here to say, my mate's job is easy. Today, watch me do it better. your job and probably make a fool of themselves while, do, while doing so. Today, couples will be trading places to see who has the harder job. Meet Marcy. She's a hairstylist and her husband Steve is a pizza maker. Marcy is sick and tired of Steve saying that her job is easy, so today she's issuing a challenge. I'll make pizzas, you'll cut hair, and we'll see who does it better. Steve is waiting backstage, but before we meet him, tell us, what does he say about your job? think of their home as a peaceful place to relax with the ones they love. But for our guest today, chaos and confusion are all they come home to. Jonathan Poins, I want you out of my damn house now. Don't come back in here. I wish you get out of my life and out of my daughter's house because we don't want to be bothered with you anymore. And please don't come back. 
Mom, I cannot stand you. I wish you stay out of our business, stay out of our life. I hate you. Just stay away from us. Leave us alone. I don't need your help. Your daughter doesn't need you. Stay away. Please, I cannot stand you. Stay away from us, period. Point blank. Oh, boy. That's why they're here, to say my family fights 24-7. Why can't we all just get along? Imagine being stuck between the man you love and your family who hates him. Well, that's the situation my next guest is in. Please welcome Farah to the show. Farah, thank you for being here. Farah, tell us, shed some light. What's going on with your family? Oh, Ricky, it's awful. You ought to see my daughter. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Every mother's dream. Why blend in? Who's the fairest of them all? I'm having so much fun. I have to rebel. I have to. Moms who say if you don't look good... She looks like a freak. Belongs in the circus. We don't look good. Sweetheart, you get the crap off your face, put some clothes on, or there is no more friends for college. <laughs> Ouch! Next, Ricky Lake. and let me introduce you to our guests. They have tattoos, body piercings, dyed hair, spikes through their faces. You name it, they've got it. But their mothers think they look like they belong in a circus. These guests are here to confront their mothers and say, Mom, you think I look like a sideshow freak, but chill out, because I look cool. You have so many piercings that your body has more holes than Swiss cheese. You wear only rubber and latex clothing, and you think that you look fine. This is exactly how my guest's daughter dresses. Meet Dee Dee. She got so fed up with her daughter Mikey's freaky appearance that she kicked her out of her house. Dee Dee, before we meet your daughter, tell us, how does she look? <laughs> 